Hey, Bella, are you there? I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be just a little bit late in coming home tonight. Oh, I see. Are you really busy with work again tonight? Well, I know that you call it work, but it really is just a part-time job, you know. Except I've been asked to stay extra long for some overtime. I don't know why, but it feels like I've been given all the overtime lately. Ugh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Mom. It must be really tough to be at the store all by yourself. But good luck with all your work. Thank you. Oh, and please don't bother staying up for me, since I'm still not quite sure when I'll be getting home. Although I'm sure that your dad should be getting home soon, so maybe wait to eat dinner until he's back. Okay, I can do that. I'll just put your portion in the fridge, and maybe you can take it with you to lunch tomorrow. I'll probably just end up eating it when I get home, to be perfectly honest with you. But what about you, Bella? Have, have you done all your housework? I think I remember you telling me that you had a test coming up next week, is that right? Yeah, but I already did all my homework and I've studied for my test and everything. Oh, that's my girl. Just make sure to keep the house locked up until your dad gets home then. And remember to charge your hearing aids before you go to bed, okay? You know what happens when you don't do that on the day before you have school, don't you? Come on, Mom. I'm already in the seventh grade, you know? I'm not a little kid anymore. You're such a worrywart sometimes, you know that? Bella, come on now. You were the one who complained to me about forgetting to charge your hearing aids. And what happened when you forgot? You could hardly do anything at school, isn't that right? Well, I'm just saying that I would understand the consequences of forgetting more than anyone. Besides, I only ever forgot it that one time, you know? It's not like it happens always. Yes, I suppose you're right about that. But I'm your mom, and it's my job to worry about you, Bella. Surely you can understand that, right? You mean that you're really so worried about me at all the time? Not so worried that I'm paralyzed with fear or anything, but every mother is always thinking about their children, and you're the only child that I have. Why would you even ask if I really am worried about you? No, no, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Please, don't worry about it at all. Are you sure that you're all right, Bella? Is there something on your mind? Something you want to talk to me about? No, I really am fine. Thanks for asking. What about you, Mom? Shouldn't you be working? I would hate to get you in trouble because you were texting. Oh, wow. Yes, just look at the time. I really do need to start doing some things around the store now. Uh, just make sure to keep the door closed until your dad gets home. After all, you can't hear well, so you might not know if someone came into the house. Okay, Mom. I'll be sure to do that. Don't worry. It's not like I'm not used to living like this, you know? I'm always trying to be careful and make sure that I'm being safe. But you need to stop seeing so many scary things like this. Well, you may think that you know, but you're still young, and the fact is that there are a lot of mean people out there. And I just want to make sure that you're ready for when you move out and are living on your own. Okay, Mom, I understand. I promise that I'll be careful and make sure the house is locked up. Now you have a good rest of your shift, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for those kind words, Bella. I'll make sure you go to sleep at a reasonable time tonight, too, okay? And when Dad does get home, go ahead and let him know that I'll be working late again tonight. Mom? What are these papers doing in the living room? Are these divorce papers? What's going on here? Is all of this real? I suppose that means that you're back from school then, yes? I'm glad you made it back, okay? Mom, come on, don't try to change the subject. I want to know what all of this is about. Well, it's just as you can see in front of you. Your father and I are going to be getting a divorce, and I won't be living in that house anymore. So then, you and Dad are really going to be getting a divorce? How did this happen? How did it all come to this? Did you and Dad get into a fight or something? No, no, I'm afraid it really isn't quite that simple. You see, your mom is just tired. What do you mean that you're tired? You can't just say that without any further explanation at all. Well, the truth is that I was hoping to not have this talk with you, and when I realized I would have to, I started reading it. But I suppose if I don't tell you, you're never going to be able to accept that this is really happening, is that right? Please, Mom, I just want to know what's going on. Please, tell me why this is happening. Why are you leaving us? Well, the truth is that I'm just tired of raising a daughter like you. A deaf daughter, that is. So then, you're saying that this is all my fault? I'm the reason why you're leaving? That's right. I've been working so hard ever since you were born, and I just have sacrificed so much. 
I thought that I'd be able to do it forever, but I just can't. I can't live like this anymore, and that's why I'm doing this. So then that's why you're getting a divorce from Dad? You're leaving him because I'm hard of hearing? I told you that I really didn't want to talk to you about this at all, but I completely understand if you're upset with me. I simply just can't be your mother anymore. But Mom, you said that I was your only child. You talked about how much you thought of me. You said you were so worried. Was that all a lie? No, you are my daughter. You are special to me. And I did and do worry about you, but... I've just finally hit my limit, and I can't do this anymore. I know that I'm being selfish, and I'm not asking you to forgive me, but you wanted to know the truth. And this is really how you feel about living with me? Am I really just a burden to you? I mean, in a lot of ways, yes. And I just don't think that I can be your mother anymore at this rate. But you'll be fine without me, right? What do you mean? Of course I won't be fine without you. How could you even say that? I mean that you're right. You've grown up a lot and you can do so much for yourself now. As long as you have your hearing aids, I know that you'll be just fine. You go to school by yourself, you go shopping by yourself, you can do anything that you set your mind to. I know that I can do all of those things by myself, but I'm still bad when it comes to talking. And there's still times where I can't hear everything, even when my hearing aids are in. Well, that's why you spent so much time learning how to read people's lips, right? I know how hard you worked to be able to do that. I guess so, but it doesn't feel like I'm a big girl right now. I know, but you have to trust me that you are. And that's why I'm not going to let you use up any more of the life that I have left. I have my own life, and it's high time that I take it back. Okay, then. I think I'm starting to understand. I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble all this time. I'm glad that you finally seem to understand. Now, I called your dad and told him about this, so he should be getting home soon. Whatever happens next, it's going to be between you and your dad, do you understand? I actually just got a text from dad not that long ago. Oh, really? And just what did he say to you about all of this? Dad told me that I should just let you go. He said there's no point trying to talk you out of this and that it's for the best. Well, that's about what I thought that he would say. I'm glad that he's trying to help you understand as well. And after reading all of the messages that you've been sending me, maybe it is better if you just go. So go and live the life that you couldn't, the life that you really want to live without me. Well, thank you so much for understanding, Bella. I suppose this is goodbye then. Bella, are you there? Oh, it's been so long since I last heard from you. How have you been? Is, is life treating you well? Wait, Mom? Is that really you? What do you think you're doing messaging me like this? Well, I was just wanting to catch up a little. I mean, you're in high school, right? How is that? Is school going well for you? It's been a couple of years since you left home, Mom. But I'm having fun at school. It really has been so long since I last heard from you, though. Why are you messaging me all of a sudden? Bella, what kind of way is that to talk to your mother? It's been so long since we've talked and you just assume that I want something? Well, it's just that Dad and I worked hard to move past your leaving and I don't really know why you'd care about us now. Well, I just wanted to come to apologize to you. I shouldn't have said that I was tired of raising you. That was cruel of me. But I also wanted to let you know that I'll be coming back to live with you and your dad from today, so now the three of us can finally all live together. Mom? What are you talking about right now? Do you really think that you can do that? I don't think that's going to work at all. What are you talking about? Why wouldn't that work? I, I mean, I thought that you'd be happy to hear about this. Haven't you missed having your mom around all of this time that I've been away? I'm sure that it hasn't been easy just living with your father. Don't you want to have your mom come back into your life so we can all be one big happy family again? Well, I actually have a new mom now, so I don't really think that's an issue for me anymore. You really don't need to bother with any of this. You left and we moved on. We don't need you around anymore. But wait a second. What do you mean you already have a new mom? What is that supposed to mean? I haven't heard anything about this at all. Well, yeah, you wouldn't have heard about her because we haven't said a single word to each other since you left. But no, I mean, did your father get remarried? Is that what you're trying to tell me? When did this happen? 
That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mom. Dad got remarried, and he did it around the start of this year, actually. I mean, I suppose we were both already kind of used to living without you around because of how much you worked. But I guess that Dad finally felt that he was ready to move on and wanted to marry someone else. Oh, this can't be happening. Oh, please tell me that you're lying to me right now. How could he just go and get remarried like that when he still has a daughter? And you're telling me that you're okay with that? Well, I think that you left us and Dad deserves to forge his own life now, just like you wanted to. But, I mean, you're hard of hearing. Surely the woman who your dad married must be really frustrated with having to deal with you, right? Actually, Dad's new wife knows a lot about people who live with disabilities, and she always takes good care of me. I don't think that she has any problem with me being the way that I am. So I'm happy at home, and I'm happy at school. But, I mean, you're still just a child. You don't know what you're talking about. Besides, you can't just say that you have a new mom. What about me? I mean, you you know that she's just looking down on you and pitying you, right? Uh, that's all that's going on. I really don't think that's true, actually. She treats me really well, and I don't have any issues with her at all. I refuse to accept this. Uh, this simply can't be true. Uh, but if your father really has gotten remarried, then I suppose I'll have to talk to this woman. So don't you worry. Your real mother is going to set this all straight. I'm coming home to take my daughter back. Right. Well, you do what you think is best, I guess. And I suppose this means I'll be hearing from you again soon. That's right. So just hold on a little longer because your mom is on the way right now. <coughs> Bella, are you there? I need you to pack up your things and get ready to leave the house right away. I can't have you living with that woman anymore. Did you talk to Dad and Vicky? What did you guys talk about? What happened? Nothing happened. But yes, I did try and talk to them and quickly realized that I wouldn't be able to talk to someone like her at all. And your father. Well, I just can't even believe that man. He's lucky to be considered a father at all. But can't you tell me about what you guys talked about? I mean, if you guys really did talk, then what was actually said? Well, he told me that you were happy living with him and his new wife. Can you believe that? He even refused to hand you over to me. How dare he try and imply that anyone aside from your own mother is suited to raise you? Honestly, just who does he think he is? Oh, is that all that you talked about? Yeah, I suppose that would be quite rough for you to hear. It was. It was so rough. You have no idea how much it hurt me to hear all that. But I am here for you, honey. As your mother, I want to be able to support you. But if your father is going to stand in the way of me being reunited with my precious daughter, then we need to take matters into our own hands. That's why you need to pack up your things and get ready to leave right now. I really don't think that's going to work at all. I mean, I already told you that I don't want to go with you and that I'm happy at home. Bella, what in the world are you talking about? Did your dad tell you to say that to me? Is he making you say all of this? Is that what's going on? Come on, Mom, I'm already 15 years old. You can't just kidnap me. And I have a right to choose which parent I want to live with. Dad isn't making me say anything. I'm telling you the truth. My truth. And I need you to accept that. But, oh, this doesn't make any sense at all. Why are you saying all of this to me if it isn't your dad telling you to do so? You know, I know the real reason why it is that you and Dad actually got a divorce. Well, of course you do. I told you why I was going away on the day that you found the divorce papers, remember? No, Mom, I'm not talking about the fake reason that you gave to me. I mean the real reason why you left. You left so that you could go and marry the man that you were cheating on Dad with. Isn't that right? What are you talking about, Bella? I never cheated on your father. How could you even say something like that? Is this another lie that your father has told you? No, Mom, Dad didn't have to tell me a single thing, actually. But I have to say that I was really shocked when I found out the truth. You were hiding it so well for so long. But then... I mean, what made you think that any of this is true? You probably thought that since I'm hard of hearing that you would have been able to just get away with it. But you were actually having phone conversations with this other man while I was at home. Bella, come on. You're sounding ridiculous right now. Of course I never did anything like that at all. Oh, really? Because if that's the case, then why were you telling this man who wasn't dad that you love him? Bella, you're almost deaf. You don't know what you're talking about at all. Now, please stop all of this. If you're not going to admit the truth that we both know, then I think we're done here. 
I didn't want to talk to you before, and I certainly don't want to talk to you now. But you don't understand. I was just so stressed out. I just needed some release is all. But now he's left me, and I need my family back. Well, you should have thought about that before you started the whole affair in the first place. <laughs> After that, I blocked Mom's number, hoping to never hear from her again. Except that she really was on her way to try to take me from my dad's. When she did arrive, the police were waiting for her. I had told the police about the things she had been sending me, and my dad finally decided to hire a lawyer and get a restraining order against my mom. After that, I never ever saw her again. During the hearing, my mom told the court all about how she had cheated on my dad, but that things didn't go how she thought it would with her new man. That's why she was so desperate to put her old family back together. Obviously, nobody had any pity for her at all. I'm still living with my dad and his new wife, and we've really been enjoying our lives together. I feel so much more happy and taken care of than when my mom was around. I don't even think about her most days now. But I do have to say, the one thing that I am grateful for her is that she taught me to always be cautious and never take safety for granted. I just don't think that my mom expected her own lesson to backfire on her the way that it did. Now that I'm getting close to finishing high school, I think that's one lesson I'll have to remember for the rest of my life. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.